Hello guys, I hope everybody is able to see me, hear me and see the screen properly. Can I get a quick confirmation on chat? If everybody is able to see me, hear me and see the screen properly. Sabko meri awaz clearly sunai de rahi hai. And today's session, it's going to be Q&A. If, if you're preparing for FRM, CFA, SCR or any of the finance related exams, and if you have any specific Q&A or a query related to the exam, uh, we will like to address that, okay? And if you have any preparation related, uh, say, doubt, like how should I plan, how should I go for the exam, what, what are things are there required in the exam, I will be addressing that. So, yes, let me know if you're facing any specific query. I'll be addressed for, I'll be over here for some time. You can put the put your queries on the chat section. So we will be talking about FRM, CFA, SCR. If anybody is preparing for FRR, I'll also be talking about it. CFA ESG also. Okay. So the there's one query. I'm doing very good, Shimanshu. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's been a long time, definitely. So, wonderful to see you on chat. How do we prepare for FRM level 2 exam from now focusing on question bank primarily? Okay. So, I'll address the query from Tushar. Okay. So, FRM level 2, roughly around 103 chapters if your exam is in august okay so you have april may june and july okay and that too you can you can focus till mid of july so ideally if you want to cover 103 chapters so ideally you should be completing 25 25 25 chapters that should be the ideal flow okay but what you can do now is in the month of april Okay, you can try to complete your Ops Risk and Liquidity Risk, LR. These two books, these are slightly bigger, okay, in terms of the chunk. So, you can try to complete these two. Once you are done, almost 50% of the content is done, okay. Then in the month of May, you can come towards Market Risk, okay, and towards the Investment Risk, okay, in terms of solving the question bank, okay. And... Then in the month of June, you can focus on credit risk and your uh, current issues. Okay, current issues at the end. So this is how you should ideally plan. Okay, you can move market risk first and you can move operation risk and liquidity risk later. That is also okay. No problem with that. Okay, so Sonu, if there is a query, you can address. Don't worry. Rishabh, uh, can you give me uh, give any tips regarding how to approach the question in FRM level 2, knowing the sentences can be confusing. Okay. So, generally in FRM level 2, okay. So, when you look at the time frame, okay. So, you have roughly 80 questions and you get 4 hours. Okay. And for FRM level 2, you will you will you'll find that the way the time crunch was there for level 1, you will not find a similar time crunch right now. Okay. So, uh, so 80, 80 question around 4 hours ok so first thing that you should remember when you are picking up the question ok first thing that you should look at is don't don't choose the answer in the first go ok you should always read the question ok twice if for example the size of the question is big on the first instance if you find that the question size is very big ok if the size is huge if the size is huge i'll just rewrite this then ideally what you should be doing is read the options first okay read the option first okay read the option first and get an idea about what what all things are covered in the option then you come back to the question and then again read the options and always eliminate the option Okay, because there won't be any time crunch for you in level 2. Okay, so you should always focus, should always focus that eliminate 
the options which are very sure okay and if you have a paper okay generally you get a, a physical paper in some centers you get a, a board or something like that okay so suppose if suppose you're solving a 10th question and you have realized that 10th question may your answer is only going to be between a and c because a b and d is already eliminated so you can write 10th a comma c that means you know this this answer could be over here but you're not 100 percent sure so you can come back over later read again the question in a fresh mind and then basically choose between a and c that will reduce the burden okay on you that will reduce the burden okay so i hope i've answered your query rishabh so no i'm answering to your query if i'm completing the question bank and syllabus by 2nd of april what should be my further step and am i in good position for level one yes if you're completing by say for level one if by say around what 2nd of april if you have completed everything then ideally what you should be doing is you should be doing and assuming that you have good amount of time huh uh, that means you're not working okay so if you're not working what you can do is you, you can do a full reading of the swager book read full all the four books properly okay and then start with each book okay each book in the order of whichever book you find difficult go go to that book first okay and then read the book again and do sectional test that means where you have question bank of the entire book randomly entire book questions have been asked okay and that you can basically look at in the uh, in terms of un understanding the uh, book in in one single go entire book in one single go then you should move towards your uh, so ideally all of this you should be able to complete by say uh, third week of april third week of april you should be able to complete and then from there from there you can start mocks okay and that should continue okay till your exam date with a gap of around three to four days in between so three to four days gap okay and then try to give at least four mocks with proper time setting okay so i've answered your query sonu sonu kiran uh answering to your query how important are the supplementary reading for the scr exam i'm running short okay so uh, the uh, basically we are talking about the required reading so every cha uh, two chapters three chapters they have given you some certain points so chapter number six there is a supplementary reading related to uh, tcfd disclosures okay it's a it's a very small one three four pages you should definitely make sure that you are good with that because they are formula based sections and they are being tested in the exam then there is ghg protocol greenhouse gas emission protocol that uh, there is it is of around 50 60 pages that definitely you should read okay rest even if you do not read uh, that's okay okay because out of 80 question what has been my experience that around 76 is what you will directly get from the guard book rest okay three four five okay might come uh, from your supplementary per section or the uh, some general finance qu questions can also come okay so i've answered your query kiran vishwanath uh, in the last in last week uh, what was that sorry in last week frm level 1 sessions you mentioned you will be giving important topics to cover and yes i was actually recording that video today so i completed half so i'll be uh, uploading the video in the first I'll try to upload definitely the first week of uh, April or maximum by second week. Okay. I'll be doing it. I'll be doing it for FRM level one. I'll be doing it for level two and for the SCR exam also. And for SCR exam, I'm also going to come out with a 20 day strategy. So Kiran, 20 day strategy, the video should be out on first of, uh, first of April, ideally. Okay. Right. Next I've answered, Vishwanath, I've answered your query. Uh, next is Tushar. How do we prepare for mathematical parts in part two and what steps can be taken to approach these questions in exam? We do not remember the formula. See, in, in FRM level two, you have around 80 questions and 15, 15 question is what you will get question, calculation driven question. They are straightforward questions. Okay. Out of that 15 also, uh, as per my understanding, around eight questions, seven to eight questions would be, would be there uh, directly from the, in a similar format that you see in your uh, Swager book. The questions that you in the Swayzer book. So first step should be make sure that whatever questions that you have, proper calculation based questions that are given in the Swayzer book, you are comfortable with that. Okay, because that will cover almost 60% of the 15 
calculation based question that you will get okay and for the rest 15 okay they are also slightly formula driven or formula plus theory driven okay so uh, do not take that that much pressure with respect to heavy calculation on there are very specific questions that might come so when like for example hazard rate calculation generally comes in the exam then you have waterfall structure in uh, FRM level 2 credit book that definitely comes. Ray rock calculation definitely comes. Likewise, so when I'll be releasing the uh, important concept video, I'll be talking about that also. Okay. So Tushar, uh, I've answered your query. Sonu, answering to your query, should we attempt all sectional tests? Yes. Make sure that whatever, so for, if suppose you have more than one sectional test available, so then what you can do is you can try uh, one, 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 one sectional test for each book. Then depending upon the time, you can go and solve the second sectional test, depending upon the time. Okay. Salesh, answering to your query, uh, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm just trying to help people uh, to clear the exam. Uh, Rishabh, sir, in operation this book, the answers are very close to each other. Yes. So that is what you will find in the actual exam also. So the reason in my question bank also, you'll find the questions are very close or only one word is changed because it gives you a habit to read the options again. Okay. And level two is all about reading the option and eliminating the option. Okay. So make sure that you focus on uh, reading what word is changing in the option. That will give you an edge in the exam. Okay, so I've answered your query, Rishabh. Dhiraj, do you provide summary books for level 2? Right now, I do not have. I've created crash course separately for each level so that uh, uh, students can just watch the video and co completely uh, cover the entire book for each chapter fast. In 15-20 minutes, they can cover. So right now, I do not have a separate summary book for level 2. Uh, next question, Explorer, I have cleared level 1 in 2021. Now I have started level 2 for November 20. Which topic should I revisit from level 1? So, uh, probably your uh, modern portfolio theory, arbitrage pricing theory, these two chapters are very important. Then uh, option Greeks, then your uh, uh, Black-Scholes model. Uh, these definitely topics you should remember, uh, you should revisit. Then statistics is not much there. Uh, basics of futures and options not so level two is a higher version of level one but it is not directly connected only specific chapters are slightly connected and ha, one more chapter which is applying dv01 uh, from book four that also you should uh, revisit okay uh, mayur answering to your query how can we prepare for fm level two for august along with 12 11 12 hours of job how can we tackle this question bank if we consider that we have started preparing now Okay, see, if you're starting now for the August level 2 exam, definitely you need two and a half, three hours on a, on a daily basis. On weekends, easily consider five hours. Okay, now you, over here, you have to be smart. What you should be doing, if you're supposed going through the video content, uh, operation risk, liquidity, you can slightly skip the videos because they are, you. even if you read the book, it is, you're not be that much far from the understanding. Okay, so you have to be smart. You read the textbook, go and solve the question by. But books like credit risk, your market risk, but definitely you need to watch the video and focus. So there you cannot uh, spend uh, less time and go and directly solve the question back. Okay, and even if uh, you're not able to solve entire question back of, out of 103 chapters, try to at least solve 70 chapters. Okay, and focusing on, focusing on your uh, market risk, credit risk, uh, operation risk uh, primarily because of the length the size of the book and investment management book because investment management book, ha book has good good amount of calculation in that okay so Mayur answered uh, to your query Shimanshu I have one one query do you think we should combine CIA with FRM and CFA you can do it see a lot of people in the industry are doing FRM CFA has now become uh, in basic norm lot of lot of people they do it simultaneously Doing CAIA will give you an edge if you're planning to go out of India. My, this is my perspective. Okay. In India, the job specific to CAIA is very low, very less as compared to what you see for FRM and CFA because it is very niche area and the skill set is also very different. Okay. So if you're preparing yourself to move to uh, say London or Dubai or these specific area where the investment management business, investment market is very huge, then the CAIA certification will be very helpful. Okay. Uh, Stacy answering to your query, uh, 
for SCR prep, what calculation should we focus on? See, in the SCR exam, you uh, in the last exam also, what I got the feedback, only two questions were calculation driven. Okay. And one of them was very basic, I think, so what uh, some ratio in finance, which is not there in the book, generic. If you know gen basic finance, you will be able to cover it. The other one was uh, uh, related to weighted average carbon intensity, which you will find in the supplementary reading or uh, required reading of chapter number six. Tushar answering to your query. Okay, for part two, can we use secret sauce for revision? Yes, you can. You can use, but again, see, when you, my purpose of asking you to revise from the Swager book is that the institute will pick up one line and they will ask you a question according to that. Okay, so how to use a secret sauce? Whichever chapter you are more confident on, okay, then that chapter just go through the secret sauce. But for the rest of the chapter, please make sure that you go through Swager properly. Okay. I have answered your query, Tushar. Let us move forward. Ajay, if there is any query, please put, put it on the chat section. Ha, Ajay, I am preparing for FRM level 1 August and I am currently in college and my college semester exams are in May. So during my exam, should I stop reading for FRM during that period? No. What you should be doing is take out just half an hour, read the textbook. Don't solve anything. Don't read anything new. But whatever you have completed, just read the textbook. Don't break the flow. This entire game of clearing the exam is to make sure that you are in sync with the preparation. You are always thinking about the preparation. Okay. If that sync or if that flow is broken, then it might be very difficult to again restart. You will have to convince yourself again. Okay. To start the preparation. Okay. And that's where a lot of people get demotivated. So my suggestion is just read the textbook, whatever you have already completed, just read it. Okay, Sandeep, answering to your query, any, 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 anybody else has any specific query, please put it on the chat section. Sandeep, I've joined a FRM level 1 course for May batch, but not, I'm giving, can you, yes, it can be extended, you can reach out to us on WhatsApp, we'll have to check the extension cost if applicable and we'll reach, we'll help you out. Okay, so reach us on the WhatsApp. Next is, I have applied for fresh passport, but I'm eligible. But am I eligible for enrolling for CFA level 1? See what happens in CFA level 1 uh, when you are actually paying to the institute. Oops. When you are actually paying to the institute. You have to give the passport number. Okay. So if the passport is not out, it, it's not available with you, you cannot put it. So that is one challenge that a lot of students are now facing. And also next year, uh, the, the fees, the FEB fees, for CFA level 1 is also going to increase. They have, I think, so, sent out an email to everybody uh, in yesterday itself, where they are talking about increasing the fees. Right? Forum, I have answered your query. Anybody else pending? Any, any query with respect to preparation for FRM, SCR, level 1, level 2? And I'll be coming out with important concepts videos also for each of the exam, level 1, level 2, uh, SCR, so that you can start preparing accordingly. Dheeraj, answering to your query. I'm completing the syllabus for level 2 and I'm forgetting the previous chapter. See, this is very normal. Okay, so don't, first of all, do not take the pressure. It is with everybody because it's 100 chapters. You cannot uh, remember everything. Okay, so what ideally you should be doing is when you read the first time book, don't take the pressure of remembering. Just complete the curriculum. Second time when you're reading, okay, go book by book by book and see which chapter you are able to connect better and which chapter you are facing challenge. So then the third reading only should be of that third uh, of those chapters which are which you're facing problem. So ideally you have to you have to read every day. That is how you have to do it. And by the time you'll reach to the exam, you have done the reading of the Schweizer book two three times, and that is where you will get the, you will see the benefit, you will be able to connect the dots and you will be able to choose the option. So follow the process, do not worry about uh, what previous part I am forgetting, don't worry about it, it's very common. Ajay, answering to your uh, query, I am, uh, you are facing one more problem as I am in college, I do not have knowledge of stock market, so I am facing problem in FMP. See, frankly speaking, uh, I had students in the last year also, there were four students who had completed 12 standard and in the first year they completely cleared FRM level 1. So you do not need to be an expert in stock market. You need to understand the basic stuff. 
why what is happening and why it is happening okay because the, even though when you are if even if you are aware about the structures of uh, stock market operations in india the content that you are going to read is more connected to your uh, us market that that you see in frm or cfa so uh, basic knowledge is required definitely that what is bond what is stock but you need not be an expert of how to take a position in fno futures and option that is not required okay obviously you'll have to prepare but having a background does not makes any difference that is what i would like to highlight uh mayur answering to your query for level 2 for august exam the early bird deadline is april end if you're planning for august register as soon as possible because it's only two days exam 9th and 10th okay and you will find that the slots are gone so please register as soon as possible okay Tushar answering to your query. So once you complete the portion, okay, ideally you should, uh, even before completion of my portion, you should be doing your revision. You should start with the revision, assuming that you have solved the question bank. Okay. And then uh, solve the question bank simultaneously. Okay. Uh, before, by the time I reach to the end of the curriculum, you basically start the revision before that and uh, do one full revision on your own. And then you start sectional test. Then you start mock papers that, that all of those has already been added. So Shivanshu, after CF, CFA level 3, uh, depending upon obviously your area of interest, uh, you can look for, uh, if, you're, if you're planning to go into some core technical areas, then Python and Python, Power BI, these things you can definitely try learning if, you're, uh, if your interest lies in that area. And like I said, if you want to go abroad and uh, make your profile very good, then definitely uh, your uh, CAI could be a better option for you okay and also if you are a cfa charter holder you you get an opportunity in ci that you have to only give the second level okay they have some program they have some tie up so you can look at that also that will reduce your burden okay so that could be one way to uh, look at it i have answered i've tried to answer give answer your query as much as possible do I have to start with ops and liquidity risk before no so tushar what you can do is you can complete the market risk you can complete the credit risk and then you can go for the operation risk and liquidity risk okay apurva answering to your query uh, so out of total 20 questions how many questions in quant frm level 1 how many questions uh, do we expect uh, to be theory okay my understanding should be around 12 to 13 yes because if you look at the entire book also uh, majority of the content they are not asking you to do heavy calculation they are asking you very basic calculation even if you go and check hypothesis even if you go and check linear regression they are not asking you to do very heavy calculation they are only telling you basic stuff divide and multiply okay so majority of the questions in in the quants book which a lot of people are afraid of is explicitly going to be uh, understanding based for example, they will they will give you a, a situation of of a, a, a linear regression being done. They will give you the answer in the table. And now, by looking at the table, you have to tell, you have to take a decision. That is how you will they will give you. Similarly, for simulation, there is a chapter on simulation. There is a chapter on machine learning. They are not ask. They are not asking. Uh, they are not asking for uh, calculation based things. They are only focusing on understanding. Okay. So, Purva, I have answered your query. Shikhar, I am not able to see your query. Uh, Dinesh, FRR, uh, are you looking out for the actual exam detail or you're looking for the products that we provide? I'm not clear on that. Any other queries, guys, I can address it. I'm there for the next five more minutes. Exam, ha, Stacey, exam is on 28th. I am nervous since I did not clear on the first item. What should I focus on until that exam? Okay, so first of all, see, SCR exam, uh, do not take the pressure. The pass percentage is very good. Okay. Uh, when I was also appearing for the SCR exam, my uh, initial thought process was that, okay, I had completed FRM and all, but this exam is slightly different because you the content that you read is not directly connected to F finance. Okay. If you're from the environmental background, then you'll be able to connect better. So I always chose an op uh, option elimination strategy in the exam. Okay. That is one thing that I've been using for the other, other competitive exam also. And uh, I basically created my own short notes. Okay. Uh, which I generally give in the form of that PPT. 
so that short note helped me to summarize and revise the entire content okay and that helped me because i had created that for my own preparation for the exam similarly if you can create if you have time to create okay then create pointers okay for each page of the book and you, you should start with the difficult chapter okay for example chapter number six pick up the pick up that chapter and create short pointers for each page of the gar book okay i'm not saying uh, rem remember everything i'm just saying just summarize it into one or two lines so that you can you know what is happening in that paragraph you know what is happening in that page that will ease out and always always focus on that six seven chapter because slightly it is a uh, model driven chapter okay uh, net zero the last chapter even if you're not very good with it it's okay because i have seen a lot of people getting fourth quartile in that but still clearing okay one of the shockers that you can get is the first chapter a lot of people are confident on that but they get third quartile fourth quartile in that so that could be a challenge so my suggestion is focus on the sixth and the seventh chapter first then you should go towards second third fourth okay then come to the first and then come to the eighth chapter that is what i would suggest okay we're going to be starting the live to November level 2 lectures in April only. So probably in the middle of April. Yeah. So you can reach us on our WhatsApp number. Okay. We will uh, share the details to you. Kiran, answering to your query, I'm planning to take a five days off to maximize my study and revision before the exam due to hectic work schedule. What advice do you have for me to approach to be adopted? Okay. So last five days, uh, first of all, two days before the exam or one day before the exam, just keep only for reading okay if you have not solved much question bank at least solve the garb sample paper two of them 2023 and the latest one which you would get in your online portal uh, that too at least you have to make sure and look at it like this i have 80 80 questions i will solve those 80 questions and i'll go back to the concepts of those 80 questions okay let us uh, let us assume that out of that 80 and 80 160 uh, uh, questions you are able to get 100 unique concepts so before the exam because you've solved those uh, uh, mock papers and you've gone through the concept, you've read it again, made yourself comfortable. You have done revision of those 100 concepts. So that is how you should look at it. And that is why actually mocks are important. Because when you solve mocks, you check the answers, you just don't stop. You go and look at from which concept it is coming. So that you revise that concept again. Okay. And that is where you basically do by default a revision. Okay. That is my suggestion. So one day for revision full-fledged, two mocks that you should definitely give and uh, the order of revision should be in such a way that whichever chapter you find difficult, do the revision twice, okay, which, and then you go in a backward order. Right, Kiran, I have answered your query. Also, sir, should I register now for FRM level 1 August exam because you just mentioned having, yes, yes, you should register if you are, uh, if you are if you're clear for the exam, just register, don't worry. Okay, because uh, the slots are limited because in Bombay also what I have seen is uh, there are two days. So specific location like Span Labs, people are not able to find on 9th. It's only available on 10th, that way. Okay, so Ajay, please make sure that you register. Uh, preparation details. So Dinesh, uh, the, if you look at the actual exam, okay, so what I can do Dinesh is you can reach out, reach out to us on WhatsApp. I'll send you the details of the FRR. We, we have also created a video on YouTube. We can share that link also to, so you'll get a brief idea about the exam. Right now for FRR, we have question bank. I'll, I'm planning to record the video uh, also uh, for the same. But it's very lengthy. So it is taking a lot of time to plan and start because uh, the other, other things are right now in my plate. Okay, so uh, Sonu answering to your query, can we study... Uh, one book then give sectional test and yes that is how you should be doing when you are doing giving the sectional test revise the book properly and set a time okay say i'll be revise i'll be giving the test tomorrow tomorrow evening at seven so from now till tomorrow i'll read the first book and i'll give the test then you will you'll set time for a second book say one day i'll revise the entire book too and then i'll give the exam that is how you should be doing uh prince answering to your query uh, we have i have my office in mumbai thane and in Andheri, we take lectures. Okay. Any other queries you can ask. I'll be able to address the same. Shikhar, answering to your query, presently working as a branch head in PSU, appearing for level 1 in May, planning to appear for level 2 in November, wanted to work in the risk rating, uh, risk analyst role. Any other courses should I offer? for? Uh, risk rating and all, FRM should be good enough. 
okay uh, i don't think so there explicitly in those roles you will find uh, uh, python or anything relevant you can look at power bi and also if possible do cfa level 1 okay because rating agencies do give preference to cfa okay so if possible complete cfa level 1 and then simultaneously look for opportunities shikhar have answered the query uh, should we do the revision second reading first and then go for the mocks yes you should be doing if it all depends upon your exam time if right now i have completed everything for may then i should be doing independent full reading of the book then i should start sectional test then i should start the mock papers so one full reading is definitely there she wants you answering to your query what i have read on various internet sources that ci won't carry a lot of value if you are a cfa a cfa has more brand value than caia and more recognized worldwide see it 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 all depends upon which role you are going okay so if you are explicitly going into venture capital private equity roles then caia definitely holds uh, value so i don't think so that is correct but what you should be looking at is look at the long term okay long term perspective uh, because these three courses are widely recognized in the in the in in the finance circle so if tomorrow there is a opportunity to lead a team to move to some other country to move to some other job role unique job roles these courses will definitely help you okay so i don't think so it is like this that you because you have done cfa everything else will go down no by that logic frm also should not be done but that is not how it works in the industry okay answering to your query uh, sir any time advantage can we get in preparation in cfa if we have already cleared frm both the levels yes in term not time advantage but the content advantage because frm level 1 if you have cleared cfa level 1 cfa level 2 40% content is same okay most of the content is same obviously the chapter name is going to be different but when you read you will realize oh i already know this i have already done this right so your portfolio fixed income derivative cons fourth to direct very very clear and because you have in frm you have uh, seen so much calculation you your equity also becomes easy your corporate issues also becomes easy okay so fr cfa level 1 level 2 40% content is almost done for you if you have cleared frm level 1 and level 2 especially level 1 okay okay perfect so i have answered those queries explorer you mentioned that you are working in marketers domain has already completed frm level 1 yes perfect is it connected to your any other query okay don't see market risk syllabus don't see much should i go for it or not no so uh, if you have already cleared level 1 then why do why do you don't want to clear, go for level 2 see don't think that because i am in credit market risk i will only do things which are connected to it no see in, in your career you might there might be so many twists and turns that might come and you might have to move to a different role you might get different opportunity so my suggestion is complete frm don't skip it okay i know it's so like uh, i think so around 16 chapters are only there for market risk and some it's not very detailed as such the way you operate in the bank but it is at least giving you the base and in the industry when you are completing a certification it gives you uh, uh, it gives you a good uh, profile it second creates a good impression in the mind of the interviewer also that you had you had decided something you were serious about something you completed something don't don't leave it my suggestion okay Yes, you want to answering to your query CFA charter definitely. See, uh, last time I checked, there was some collaboration between both the institutes and uh, CFA charter holders, not level three cleared uh, charter holders. They would uh, ideally get opportunity into uh, a second level of CAI. So that is where you can look for opportunity. Okay, any other queries, guys? so d depending upon uh, answering to your query what should be the ideal commitment for cfa level 1 if both the levels are cleared it so which exam you are going if you are going for august you have good amount of time you can dedicate only one or maximum two hours right now and then gradually increase after one month okay two hours more than enough okay if you are going for november then do you have so much time so don't worry okay so uh, my my suggestion on an average two hours not more than that okay 
Next is in CFA after uh, I have answered answer to the query forum. Uh, in CFA after clearing CFA level 1, what are the opportunities available? Uh, see, definitely you can enter into equity research if you are looking for a job. Investment management, okay, then investment research is also growing extensively. In investment banking side, not I am not very sure about uh, in big investment banks, but probably boutique investment banks, you can definitely get an opportunity to enter at those uh, those level and investment bank it's not only equity research roles are there there are so many different works that are happening the product control team then you have the uh, global markets team who are also doing a lot of good work so you can get opportunity over there okay cfa level one ideally the industry recognizes if you cleared cfa level two okay uh answering to your query prince if i am i am from uh, the uh, I'm answering to you. I'm just completing your query. If it's November, you have way way too much time to prepare, given you have already cleared FRM level one, level two. So you can start in say June or July, and you can then do it. But important thing that you should focus on is solving the question back, solving institute question back. Okay, Prince, answering to your query, you are you have done uh, college from tier three tier three college. Should you perceive definitely see? It's it's not about even if I would have done from tier one college. Okay, say I am. You have to think the long long term vision, okay? Because you're with whom with whom you are going to compete, okay? When you're going to compete with the top in the finance industry, then you need FRM CFA certification along with the MBA, or along with masters that you have done. That is what I see. Okay, Gaurav, answering to your query, uh, sir, I have completed one subject which is eco, and I am looking to complete the other nine, but I have college exams in mid April. Should I give my exam in November? No, no, that's ample amount of time. November, you can easily clear the exam. It's April and you have and you're still in college, right? So you have time. You can sit every day also two, two, two and a half hours, three hours. You can still clear. The only see if you're going for November exam, CFA level one exam, time from now is not a constraint. Your consistency would be. So focus on whether I'm able to sit every single day or not. So Gaurav, my suggestion do not push the exam later. Go for it right now in November itself. Okay. Answering to your query. Ronak, uh, credit or market risk, job opportunity wise, which domain is better, which other skills are needed? So if you go towards market risk, more technical skill sets are needed. Python, MATLAB, uh, if the company is using SAS, then that all the, these two, these three, then you have Tableau and Power BI. So more technical data related uh, part will be there. Okay. And uh, more action you will see in the market risk side because every day something is happening. When we talk about... Uh, the uh, creators book okay uh, the creators book is more analysis kind of stuff so you, over there you have to read the balance sheet and all of that so your ratio analysis should be good uh, your credit assessment part should be very good so they have also have a set of work okay uh, within the creators there are certain areas like cva desk where they will be looking at trades also constant basis so those in those cases your product wise knowledge should be extremely good Okay, what happens in OTC derivatives, exotic derivatives, how their how their cash flow moves, how their risk is analyzed. That that understanding of the knowledge will be very much essential if you go to credit risk, core credit risk, and where the counterparty risk is assessed. Okay, answering to the other query. Uh, things that I should be focusing on while doing revision solving mocks for FRM level one. Uh, for FRM level one mocks, uh, see, I see, I look at it very sim in a very simple manner. I have given a hundred question exam, mock exam. I will come, I'll go back to that mock paper. I'll see where I've made correct. Okay, where, where the correct answer there, where is wrong, which, which questions are wrong. And I will go back to the concept and I'll revise those concepts. Okay, so that I do not repeat the mistakes. See, any competitive exam, the purpose of solving so many mocks, so many questions is simple. You and you understand where you're making mistake and you do not repeat the mistake if you if you're done that you'll clear the exam it is like this okay so what ideally you should be focusing on is uh, when you give mock exams analyze the paper properly go to all the concepts that were there in that paper right wrong anything just read it properly again and at least those concepts you're clear okay and then focus on what is the weak areas that you might face again read those weak areas and then go to mock second mock papers Second mock paper, give the mock paper and see whether you are repeating the same mistake or not. Whether the same concept was tested in a different way and you did not answer. That is what you should be analyzing. 
okay i hope the query is addressed akshay which is best doing mba or cfa see uh, if you are doing mba from a tier, very good college and then you are not doing cfa then also it is okay then it, it means you will not find any problem in your career okay but if you are doing mba from a uh, tier 3 college or something like that then cfa would definitely add value because then it brings in a solid certification in your kitty which can help you to move to good locations good areas of finance so depending upon where you are doing mba okay so generally uh, my, my suggestion is that if you are doing mba from tier 2 tier 3 city then definitely do cfa Gaurav, answering to your query, uh, after completing CFA level 3 with 1.5 years of job experience, can I get into London Business School for Masters in Finance or any other business school? Will they look my cons cons will they consider you, uh, your admission? See, first of all, your 1.5 years of experience, which field it is into, whether it was into a listed company, with what was the name of the company, that also matters because your profile will be checked. Okay, But CFA, having a CFA will definitely add value in your profile okay so that is definitely there okay uh, yes they if you if i'm understanding your question correct you are asking whether my cfa will add value okay so cfa plus i think so two two and a half year of experience should be good enough but they will check which company it is if you're working for morgan sani they'll have more confidence right for answering to your query can we do can we clear all three levels of CFA and then we pay apply for job or after CFA? No, it's up to you. It's up to you for them. Uh, if suppose you've just completed your graduation and you want to give let's see all three levels of CFA and then go for the exam, that is also okay. See, only thing will be if you go to the interviews, they will ask you what were you doing in the three years. Okay. So my suggestion is if you get an internship opportunity, do that and do preparation of the exam. Okay. That is ideally good way to cover if you do not want to do a full time job for the for till the time you complete level three. But uh, if suppose you clear level two, then my suggestion would be do level three along with job because then you will be able to connect a lot of things which you have read you see on a day to day basis in your job and that will make your journey also in the future very easy. So my suggestion is that I hope I have answered the query. Is it possible Mohit answering to your query? Is it possible to clear FRM level two in four months? yes if you have time okay see you have to think it this way i have 103 chapters okay if i do one full chapter preparation okay and solve the question mark of the chapter then i need only 100 days to complete everything that means three months okay so and to complete one chapter roughly and with solving with solving you roughly need four on an average four hours because certain chapters are very simple two pager in frm level two also okay so on an average four to three and a half to four hours is what you need with solving then it is possible to clear the level 2 in 3 months and the last one month you can just do revision, do mock sectional tests and do mock papers. Right Mohit? Ronak, is FRM enough as a standalone degree? Yes. I have seen a lot of people only doing FRM so don't worry. It's not like that you have to do 2-3 certifications. Okay. Uh, even if you do one and you, you become very good in the area that you are operating, that is good enough. Okay. Answering to your query, uh, moving ahead, Abhijit, for SCR, please guide on the strategy for the remaining exam. I'll be coming out with a video, 20 day strategy on 1st of April. So you can check that. It, I'll have, I've talked about the plan for the uh, last 20 days. Okay. So Nali, answering to your query, will they provide rough sheet in the exam? Yes, they will give you a rough sheet and they will take also at the end of the exam. Okay. So ideally what you should be doing, whichever questions you're facing challenge, Say for example, I solved 20th question and I, I, I realized that answer is between A and D. So write down in the sheet 20th A comma D so that you come back to that question and uh, choose the right option because B and C have already eliminated. Answer is between A and D only. So when you come back again, you choose out of A and D only. That is what you should be using the sheet for. Uh, Gaurav, answering to your query. Uh, for completing CFA level 1 and doing internship in mid-size company and then going for CFA level 2 after completing graduation. Is it a good idea? Yes. It's a very good idea. Don't worry. Yes. And your internship, it's a mid-size company. It will be recognized also later on when you go for a job. Yes. So you can definitely go for it. Okay. Uh, Abhijit, uh, do we have clarity on chapter wise weightage? Yes, yes. I had already uh, in the initial time, I had uh, come out with a video on all about SCR. 
in that i have also talked about the weightages so roughly 8 to 12 question is what you see from chapter 1 to chapter 6 chapter 7 is 12 to 16 questions and chapter 8 is i think to 3 to 4 question i'm not exactly sure but this is what i remember ideally should be a bifurcation uh, the learner, I am answering to your query, sir, I am working in a PSU bank, I wish to switch over to investment related job, will I be able to search after FRM level 1? See, the there are few points that you have to remember when you are doing this, okay, first you need to have a very good story why you are coming out of PSU bank, okay, second you have to change your CV entirely, okay, your CV should not talk about PSU, PSU, okay, so that is the ideal approach. Okay, my suggestion, okay, and try to learn what these investment related jobs, what they are doing, how they are earning revenue, okay, that will give you a good picture with respect to your understanding, okay, one second. Yes, so you need to have uh, understanding about what is the business all about, okay? And also the major difference that lot major problem which lot of a uh, uh, lot of participants in from coming from the PSU sector face is that uh, they don't fit with the culture. That is what HRs feel, okay? So you have to project yourself that no, I am I'm ready for it. I have done. The FRM, your your conversation with the HR, your conversation with the interviewer should should reflect that. So you have to prepare also in terms of giving the interview. But yes, having an FRM, having CFA will open up that door. People will see your profile in a very different manner. That's what I've seen. Okay, I've answered your query. Ajay, answering to your query, can I clear FRM development attempt 50 syllabus, 50% 50 syllabus remaining for May? If you are working right now, you do not have more than two hours, 50% uh, and assuming you have not even solved for the 50% the that you have completed, then you should defer. Then you should defer for August. But when you defer, you should not stop your preparation. Okay. Uh, obviously, I will need more information on what has happened, what, what all things you have completed. Okay. Sachet, uh, sorry, son. Sanche, Sanche, uh, if I start my preparation now for level 1 for August attempt, can I complete my portion and I have enough time for revision? Yes. Yes, yes, you can. You can. I can dedicate 5 to 6 hours. Very easily you can complete. So don't worry. You can go for the exam. Okay. 5 to 6 hours is luxury, which a lot of working professionals don't get. Okay. So definitely you can uh, clear the exam. Okay. Karthik, answering to your query, is it necessary to learn Python or financial modeling for getting a job after completing FRM level 2? No. See, financial modeling that you see in the market, it is more financial modeling of companies. So it is like uh, doing the equity valuation. That is what financial modeling that they teach. That is not connected to risk management. Python is connected to risk management. But again, in the industry, there are so much so much work available, which is which does not require you to have extraordinary technical skill set. So what you can do, you can, after completing, completing FRM, you can enter into the industry at the base level and then you can start learning Python and upskill yourself while doing that work. Okay, and when you get into good companies like investment banks, they have give you opportunity to move also. Okay, so Karthik, I've answered your query. If the query is still there, uh, reach out to me on WhatsApp. Okay, uh, Ahil, how much practice needs for getting the concept clear for book 2 and FRM level 1? See, frankly speaking, it all the book 2 is not very difficult. You need to at least solve 30, 40 questions each chapter. Huh? Okay. But it is not very difficult because a lot of people, they fear that it is more calculation. It is like, it is math quant. But in reality, it is stats. In stats, they will not ask you heavy calculation in the exam. They will ask you understanding based stuff. So my suggestion is very simple. Don't, don't take that book in a very negative way. It's actually very easy. Okay. Uh, try to solve at least 50, 50 questions for each chapter. That will give you some comfort level. Okay, Vedansh, uh, can I start FRM preparation after 12th? Yes, you can. I had, I had students who have cleared in the first year of their college. And not one or two, five, six students have already cleared. Gaurav, answering to your query, after completing CFA level 3, should we go for masters in abroad or directly MBA in finance in abroad? Yes. If your CGPA is 8, that is good. Don't worry. You can definitely go for masters. But again, 
uh, choose a very good country where the finance is, finance industry is good say london us to a certain extent dubai but us and london are top okay vedant uh, if you are going for after 12 3 hours is good enough for you to prepare for the exam so don't worry 3 hours okay everyday basis Rishabh, answering to your query, I am planning to appear for FRM part 1 in August exam and I am ready with dedicated 4 hours, 4 hours in weekdays and 10 hours. Yes, Rishabh, you have good amount of time, you can go for the exam. Don't worry. Okay, the only thing is focus on making sure you are understanding the chapter and solving the question back. A lot of people, what they feel is, I will complete everything and then I will solve. They, they fall in the trap. Okay. Paras, answering to your query, can I start with FRM and I will go FRM and I will give the November attempt every... I can give for see if you are going for November attempt for FRM level one, then right now you need a one and two hour maximum. You don't need four hours because the time that you are going to dedicate four hours is more way too high. Okay, focus on starting out. If you are going for November FRM level one now, you're starting now, give one or two hour now. Focus on consistency, not on volume right now. Your speed or your volume should be when you when you enter September, October, November. That is where your main push has to be right now you have to maintain the consistency i have answered the query paras ahil sir after completing uh, frm level 1 should we go for scr first or level 2 so it depends upon what is the time say for example you are going for frm level 1 in august and you do not want to go for frm level 2 in november for example then go for scr okay because your frm level 2 is any which is going to be in next year so it depends upon when you are giving Okay, if you have ample amount of time, good amount of time, say four, five months, six months proper in between FRM level one, level two, then go for level two only. Okay. France, I'm not very sure is good for finance industry because I've not heard much about uh, MSc in finance students doing over there. So I cannot comment on that. Okay. Uh, Akhil, I'm, uh, Ahil, I'm answering to your query. Uh, sir, after completing FRM level one, should we go for, Achha, sorry, I've already answered. Ajay, uh, after giving my FRM level 1 exam in August, then should I prepare for level 2 first or for CAT? See, if, if you have if you are giving FRM level 1 in August, your CAT will be in November. So, you will not have that much amount of time. And if you are completely free, you are not working, then you can try for level 2. But again, it is going to be stressful because it is 100, 100 chapters. So, you will have to take a huge amount of time. Okay. So my, I, I need good information to help you answer this query of how you can plan for CAT or level 2. Uh, Sanjay, uh, I am BCom graduate and a fresher. Should I start looking for job after 12, level 2 or should I start working after clearing all levels? Uh, CFA level 2 clearing, you can start looking for a job. It will give you good, good rules. Yes. Don't wait for level 3. Level 3 you can do it with job also. So start looking for a job. Uh, the faster you get into a job, you start gaining experience. And you then the tag of fresher goes out. That is what um, I've seen. Raj, answering to your query, are jobs really available after completing FRM level 2? Uh, completed my graduation two years back and giving FRM level 2 this May. Raj, I have students who are fresh graduates. Okay, in Bombay and out of Bombay also. They have got 6 lakh a package. So you can also get Okay, I, I obviously will not be able to comment on the salary level, but there are definitely jobs available. Don't worry. Rishabh, I'm planning to uh, appear for FRM level 1 in August. I'm ready to dedicate 4 hours a week. And I've, I've told you, no, Rishabh, possible, easily you can clear. Level 1 to aram se clear. Sakte ho. Vedan, uh, can you please guide us how much amount that you need for doing FRM? So level 1 uh, only... Going for the exam, 84, 85,000, first level. Level 2 would be around 600 dollars, so 50,000. 50,000 INR, okay? I hope everybody is, everybody's queries are addressed. If I am not able to address right now, you can reach us on my WhatsApp number. I will try to give you, I will try to leave a voice note. And I will be keeping more such Q&A session, okay? So do subscribe to my channel, okay? And uh, wherever I come, uh, uh, what do you say? 
go for a, a bell icon because then only whenever i come live you will get a message also notification also okay so i'll be coming out with uh, live sessions also in future talking about the exam preparation talking about q a so do uh, do join for those sessions okay i'll be closing the session right now so thank you very much thank you very much guys if there is still a query you can put it us on the whatsapp number okay so whatsapp number is this obviously we might revert as we get time but we'll drop a voice note also to you okay so thank you very much guys for joining bye guys